Well, Mr. Race has put Jane on a $25 a week budget to run their home. Out of that money, and with what Marge pays for room and board, Jane is to make both ends meet and even show a profit. When last heard from, she was having a little trouble getting cooperation from Laura, the maid. A week has passed, and our scene now is just after dinner in the living room, where we find Mr. Race at his evening paper. Jane is at her desk, going over her budget book. We wonder how she's doing. Listen. Dear, will you bring me some more of this red ink tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I'll give you the money for it, and you buy it for me. How much is it? Yes, Jane. What? Dear, you're not listening to me. What? what? You're not listening. Did you hear me ask you something? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, what, what, what was it again? I said I want you to bring me some more of this red ink tomorrow. The red ink? Yes, for my budget book. Oh, so that's how you spend. You need more red ink. I'll give you the money for it. Don't start thinking I'm asking you for something. Tight rope. How much is it? That's what I'd like to know. How much is it? How much in the red? Say pardon You've lost money, I see. Lost money? What do you mean, lost money? Let me see that book. The first week's over, and I'd like to find out how you're doing with the budget. You're in the red, you say. You need more red ink. Yes, I'm writing the whole thing in the red ink. You're what? Didn't I explain about the black ink and the red ink? Didn't I show you just how to keep the book? I know, dear, and I tried it. In the first place, the black ink was really a sort of a blue. Well, it's just the same as black ink. That... That's in the first place. Now, in the second place, it was getting all over my fingernails and spoiling my manicure. So I thought as long as it does get all over my fingers, I might as well use the shade to match my nails. And it just does. Look. I see. You're sort of combining business with pleasure, keeping books and giving yourself a manicure at the same time. Uh-huh. Don't they look nice? Yes. I hope the book looks as nice. Oh, it looks pretty good. For a book, I mean. For a book. It doesn't look as good as the manicure, though. Oh, no. After all, it's just a book. These nails do look nice, though. I think this is one of the best shades of red that I've found. Not too red, not too pink. Mm, you've sort of got your work right at your fingertips, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might as well laugh now. I have an idea what to expect after looking over that book. Let me see it. Oh, uh, you wouldn't understand it, dear. I'll be able to understand just how much you've lost. Lost? I haven't lost anything. Just because it's in the red ink doesn't mean I've lost. I've got a profit. You have a profit? Yes. Well, Jane, that that's one. You're not kidding. No, I got a profit of eight dollars. Eight dollars? Why, you're wonderful. Well, thanks, dear. I told you you could do it if you tried. The trouble with you is that you've been spending money around here without knowing just where it was going. Now that you've got your eye on it, you're more careful. Eight dollars. Well, now I think you ought to start a sort of a savings account with that money. Big pardon? Uh, take the $8 or whatever it is you save every week. I don't expect it will be as much as that every week. But take that money and put it away. What money? The money you save, the profit that you... Wait a minute. Maybe I didn't hear this correctly. You did say you have a profit. Yes, $8. Yeah, I thought I heard you say that. Now, that money, the $8... But I haven't any money. You say you have a profit. Yes, I've got a profit. Where is it? Right here. Eight dollars in the book. Profit. Eight dollars. Yes. Now put that eight dollars in a savings account. Uh, dear, I don't think you understand. I've got a profit in the book. I haven't any money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Jane, could I see no, the... No, it's just eight, dear. I know. you. But ju you just said ten. No, I didn't say... Will you please let me see that no, book? No, you couldn't understand it, dear. I wrote so many things down. Yes, and among them you wrote down a profit of $8. Yes, it comes out $8 a head. Hmm, uh, maybe this will help solve it. How much money have you left over from the $25 I gave you and what Marge gave you? Oh, is that what you mean, money? I didn't know what money you were talking about. How much money have you left over? Have you any? Oh, yes. How much? Fifteen cents. Fifteen cents? Yes, but tomorrow morning you have to give me another $25 for this coming week. So but your budget book shows a profit of $8? Uh-huh, $8 profit. But the only cash you've got is 15 cents. Yeah, 15 cents back for some bottles I sent Laura to the store with. 
then somebody's wrong, aren't they? No, no. There's three bottles of five cents a bottle. We fared it up, dear. It comes out 15. Yes, I know. But your budget book comes out $8 a head, and you come out with only 15 cents a head. The book is way ahead, and you're not. Well, I guess that's better than both of us not being ahead. It's supposed to balance. The book and what you've got left over should tally. You say the book shows a gain. You should have a gain. I don't understand what you mean. I said a gain. I heard you say it again, but if you'll stop hollering, maybe I could understand Look, what you mean. Look, let me see that book, Jane. No, I'd better explain it to well, you. Well, can I see it for one minute? Oh, sure, but you won't understand unless I explain what I've written down here. No, no, sit over there, dear. I'll bring it over to you, and I'll sit in your lap. Yes. There. Am I too heavy? Uh, no, no. Now, let me see what you... Now, let me get comfortable. Mm. There. Now, isn't this nice and cozy? Mm. Now, we'll look at the book together. Uh, let's start here on the first page. This is the money I spent this week. The outgo, you told me to call it. Yes, that's right. Outgo. Now, on this page is the money I took in. Not very much writing there, is there? That's because I didn't take in. And you I... have this page in go? Yes, in go. The money I took in. Mm, outgo and in go. Yes. Now, on the in go page... Am I too heavy sitting on your lap, dear? No, Jane, you're not heavy sitting on my lap. Let's go on Well, with that's it. good, because I thought I was gaining weight. I weighed myself the other day when I went to the drugstore, and oh, I thought... Oh, would you mind explaining some of these items to me, Jane? Items? Now, don't tell me you can see items on there. Nobody can see an item. I see plenty of them. You mean little tiny items? What do we used to call them at school? Molly Cobbles? Why, oh. you have to put them under a microphone to see them. How can Would you, you see? mind if I just examined this book by myself? No, you couldn't, dear, because I'd have to explain everything to you. I think I can understand this, Jane. Now, let me see. This $25 here is the $25 I gave you. Yes, $25 you gave me last week. Now, the 25 you give me this week, I'm going to write right under here. What this $10 Marge gave you? Yes, room and board. But you cut her to five a week. Oh, yes. Did I write 10? There it is, $10. That should be five. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, I'll get my eraser. No, no, no. Sit still. Let's see what else. That's what you had to operate on this week. A total of $30. Now we'll figure out just how much you spent. Uh, where's the total amount of what you spent? That's on the outgo page over here. Oh, yes. Uh, grocery, $18.50. Well, prices are very high. Yes, I know, Jane. Uh, what's this? Laura? Yes, Laura, $8. Oh, yes, Laura, $8. That makes $26.50. Then, uh, Anonymous, $2.50. What's that? Oh, well, that was for the chair I broke. You remember I told you the leg of the chair broke? But why anonymous? Well, I don't know. It was the name of the man who fixed it. Oh, you don't know the name of the man? Yes, Laura took the chair up there, and she didn't ask him his name, so I just wrote down how much he charged and put anonymous. Mm -hmm. Anonymous, two fifty. That makes uh, $29. Uh, odds and evens. Yes, odds and evens. You know, little things you have to send around the house, like the paper boy. Oh, yes, odds and evens. Paper boy, 15 cents. Tom Daring, 10 cents. Who's that, Tom Daring? Who? Tom Daring, D E R R. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, that was a beggar that came to the door and I gave him a dime. I had to ask his name for the book. Oh, for a beggar, man, you found out the name, but when you have a chair fixed and you spend 250 you don't well, know. Well, that who... was Laura's fault. I told you. All him. right. Now, what's this next thing? Match money, 20 cents. That's a lot of matches, isn't it? What's that? Oh, yes. I had bad luck there. The boy from the drugstore brought something and I matched him double or nothing for the tip. Oh, you have to start matching drugstore boys. Well, now. when you're on a budget, you've got to try to save as much yeah, as you Yeah, so can. you uh, lost. Well, I had bad luck. I won the first one, though. The first what? The first time we matched. Then he said he thought we were playing best two out of three. And I, said, I see. Jane, will you please not have traffic with people that come to the house? How you pick up with drugstore boys is more than... Well, I'll... he came with the electric clock I ordered for the kitchen. Electric clock? Yes, yes, it's here, electric clock. Let me see, here. Electric clock, $3.50. $3. Laura's been coming so late every morning, and she keeps saying she didn't know it was that late. So I bought this clock, and now she'll know what time it is when she gets here. She'll know after she gets here, yeah. yeah. She can't be coming in here any time she wants to. I told her, I said, we're running this house like a business. You All can't... right, electric clock, three fifty. Now, let's get down to the final amount. Where is it? Well, didn't you add it up somewhere? Oh, not on the book. 
Why not? Uh, what's this mean, to be continued? Well, starting with the new week, there'll be more things I have to spend But didn't for. you add it at all? Didn't you add up how much you spent? Oh, yes, over here. Here it is. Forty-three dollars. Forty-three dollars. Then I subtracted it from the thirty-five I but took But you in. only took in thirty. Well, yes, I know. Now I made a mistake before. I subtracted from 35. 43 from 35 you cannot take. So borrow from your husband, I suppose. What? I suppose you expect me to make up the loss. Loss? Sure, it's a loss. You've got it. A profit of $8 is a loss of 13 Whenever you spend more than you take in, it's a loss. Oh, you did fine, Jane. Oh, I see. I subtracted the wrong way, didn't I? I say you did. Well, maybe that's why I haven't got any money left. Well, that might have something to do with it. And another reason is because I don't take in more than I spend. That's why I have to start doing something, taking in more. I don't know what else you can take in. Marge was paying you ten, and you cut her to five after you made a big speech about going to raise her rent. Well, I felt sorry for her. She worked so hard, and she doesn't get very much. Well, you're $13 behind again. Now what? Now you expect me to pay some of these bills that you... Did you charge the drugstore stuff again? Yes, I always... I told you nothing doing on charging anymore. If you charge, you're going to have to pay for it yourself. Well, I'll pay it out of the $25 you're going to give me tomorrow. And then you won't have enough to run the house another week. Oh, that's right. Well, if you could pay it this week, oh, dear. Oh, no, Jane, didn't we have that out last week? Well, didn't... there were things like the clock I didn't expect and the chair broke. I tried to get a profit, and I don't think I did bad for the first week. Oh, only $13 behind. See, even you said only $13. That's not, that's not so much. You can pay it, dear. And I'll start all no, over, and I promise... No, sir, you said $25 would suffice you. Oh, whenever I ask you for something, you say no. You give strangers money before you would me. After all, I'm your wife. You're supposed to love me, and... But I can't keep carrying you, Jane. Oh, I'm too heavy now. All right, I'll get off your lap. No, no, I said I can't carry you. Just prove you don't love me. I used to sit on your lap all the And so endeth the first week of Jane's budget. We hope for a better second week, and we find Jane with some new ideas on the subject when next we meet the Easy Aces.